unthinkably irresponsible, a dereliction of power, government surrendered. All phrases used in the Japanese press after the surprise resignation of Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Only in power for a year, Abe got off to a flying start. But his poll ratings soon plummeted, hit by financial scandals, accusations of incompetence, and a string of inappropriate remarks from his ministers. I'm Veronica Pedroza, and in this edition of 101 East, we'll be looking at the battered state of Japan's politics and examining where the country goes from here. Aside from a brief period in the mid-1990s, the center-right Liberal Democratic Party has ruled Japan since it was founded in 1955. It's been one of the most effective electoral machines created in a modern democracy. Just last year, there was further proof of its strength when it won a landslide in a general election called by Prime Minister Abe's predecessor, Junichiro Koizumi. So how has the party fallen so far, so quickly, in the year that Shinzo Abe has been in power? Our correspondent Chan Tao Cho reports. Japanese forces on a military exercise. The most significant casualty they've caused is a political one at home. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe had staked his job on the extension of Japan's support of the US-led anti-terror operation in Afghanistan. Its mission to refuel coalition warships in the Indian Ocean has not been popular with the public. Critics, especially from the opposition Democratic Party of Japan, have blasted Abe's pro-US military stance, saying that it violates the pacifist constitution. I must gain the agreement of the opposition, starting with the Democratic Party, and I will lay my job on the line to do this. His attempts to meet the DPJ leader never materialized, as those turned out to be famous last words. Today, I decide to resign from my job as Prime Minister. The upper house election result on the 29th of July came out and it was a tough result. The LDP's defeat in that election gave the opposition DPJ majority control of the upper house for the first time. Abe Shinzo -kun no LDP has dominated Japan's political scene since 1955 when it was founded, ruling the country except for a brief period in the mid-90s. Shinzo Abe's shock resignation could signal a turning point to the fate of what was previously a vote-winning machine. Since he succeeded Junichiro Koizumi about a year ago, scandals have rocked the cabinet, especially those involving the agriculture ministry. Abe's first agriculture minister killed himself after a mental breakdown. The next one stepped down last month after being accused of fudging off his expenses. And the third one resigned over a farming subsidy scandal. During this time, Shinzo Abe's support ratings plummeted to less than 30%. As the LDP has a large majority in the lower house, its new leader automatically becomes prime minister. Critics say that any leader chosen this way lacks legitimacy. They want fresh elections. This uncertainty is unlikely to calm a stock market already unnerved by Abe's resignation. How the LDP's deadlock with DPJ turns out will influence decisions of investors monitoring the unstable political environment. November the 1st is Japan's deadline to extend its aid of the US-led operations in Afghanistan. Given the opposition party's stand against it, Japan's decision on it will give an idea of which way the balance of power is tilting between its political parties. All right, more now on the political crisis shaking Japanese politics. I'm joined by Hiro Katsumata, research fellow at the S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies in Singapore. From Tokyo, we welcome Noriko Hama, writer and professor at Doshisha Business School in Kyoto. And also from Tokyo, we're joined by Hisahiko Okazaki, one of Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's closest advisors and head of the Okazaki Institute. Welcome to you all. I'd like to begin with uh, Mr. Okazaki in Tokyo. Sir, what do you think fundamentally yes. went wrong that Prime Minister Abe had to resign? Well, it's simply a question of health. Well, actually, um, 
he was willing to pursue his uh, policy until a few hours b before he, he collapsed. I think it's a sheer exhaustion. What about no, the I, poll disaster in July? I don't think it, uh, I, I don't think it mattered. Well, he was more determined to pursue his course. And only a few hours before, he, he really wanted to go on. But uh, he, it's a simply a question of health. Surely his plummeting popularity had something to do with it. I looked at a graph the other day, and approval ratings started at about 70% when he first came into office and went to below 30% in July. Then there was scandal after scandal, particularly the resignations and even a suicide in the agricultural ministry. Mm -hmm. I, I told you it's irrelevant. He has a conviction. So, um, Popular support doesn't really matter. He wanted to pursue his own policy, but simply health didn't, uh, didn't allow him. It's like a marathon runner, and right before the goal, well, he has a will to go on, but uh, he couldn't move. That's all. Noriko Hama, it is true that Shinzo Abe went straight to hospital the day after he resigned. There do seem to be some health problems, but do you accept uh, the analysis of Okazaki-san? Well, basically, no. I think that was a, a series of very undemocratic, if you like, um, statements from Mr. Okazaki. Um, I think there was an overwhelmingly strong public will for Mr. Abe to go immediately after the uh, upper house elections. Uh, the election results clearly indicated that the people were fed up with him, very, very frustrated with his condescending attitudes, if you like, uh, towards the economic problems that people were having. Uh, so in a sense, yes, indeed, it may ultimately have been his health, which is not surprising because I think there was a lot of pressure upon him to go. And indeed, I think there's a huge sigh of satisfaction on the part of Japanese voters that he at last decided to go, which was very much indicated by the polls. Hirokatsu Mata, what do you make of the timing of the resignation? There were a lot of people who were surprised that it came only two days into the extraordinary parliamentary session, and some people are even saying it should have happened immediately after the polls. Yes, well, timing is certainly interesting, and I think uh, Mr. Okazaki is right, uh, at least in terms of timing, because uh, his health uh, was... Uh, uh, turning point. In uh, that's the, the triggering event. Uh, the, his health simply didn't uh, allow him to go on. So I partially agree with Mr. Okazaki. But at the same time, uh, we can ask why he was in such a bad condition. Uh, I think he was getting a lot of pressure from inside the LDP, inside his own people. He, his strong uh, opponent was not from the opposition party, but inside the LDP, he was getting a lot of pressure. Therefore, he had uh, uh, all this stomach problem and everything. So I think the, the, it, it's not, it, it's, it is his health, but uh, there is something deep inside behind uh, the, this uh, health program, pro problem here. Can you help us read into the situation in the LDP, Mr. Okazaki? Um, you have been a very close advisor, particularly on foreign policy matters, to Prime Minister Abe. Um, but there are headlines now that I've seen over the last week saying the LDP is in turmoil because of this resignation. What is going on in the LDP? Now, the, actually, the um, atmosphere is changing. And Abe um, promoted many conservative agenda, and there's a, um, some some feeling that the um, some 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 liberal part of the LDP uh, did not see that going on. So I I expect uh, some kind of reaction, a reactionary period in the coming well. I hope it's short, but uh, at least in the coming, coming, coming uh, months or year. I think that uh, it sounds as if you agree that is a, it is mm -hmm. a period of some turmoil there. Um, Noriko Hama, the LDP seems to be a deeply divided party, but it's at the same time its modus operandi is one of building consensus. Um, is there 
a fundamental change going on in the LDP and perhaps even wider in Jap Japanese politics right now? Well, from where I'm sitting, it looks as though the LDP is a bunch of people uh, running around like headless chickens. I think they are panicking. Uh, there is a lot of turmoil going on um, in the party, which I think is the natural turn of events, given um, the, uh, the banging that they got on, uh, in, the po in the polls. I think this is indeed a very much of a grave turning point in Japanese politics. Um, I think that indeed, I think there was a lot of pressure on Mr. Abe to go within the LDP because the LDP started to realize that uh, having him as prime minister was a vote loser. And politicians always start to, to, to panic when, when uh, vote losing issues start to come up. Um, so I, I mean, it looks very, very natural for me that the LDP is in this turmoil. And that's very good and very healthy, I think, in terms of Japanese uh, democracy and politics. Mr. Katsumata, do you think then that cons Consensus is not going to work. We will see bickering. We will see real battling going on within the LDP. Well, yes, certainly I agree with uh, what uh, Ms. Hama mentioned. Certainly LDP is in, 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 in turmoil or they are facing a difficult situation right now, uh, mainly because uh, upper house are controlled by the opposition party. However, lower house uh, LDP still controls. So there is a clear divide, divide between may, uh, ruling party and opposition party and division between upper house and lower house. Something like this is very interesting. In the post-war uh, post Japanese politics, uh, history of uh, Japanese politics for the past uh, half a century, something like this, we never had something like this. This is very, very interesting. An unprecedented turn of events in mm. Japanese political history. Mm. Well, we have to stop there for a short break. After that, we'll be back for more on what the future holds for Japan, her people, and her politicians.